Hi guys, happy Thursday. I hope that you guys are excited to fold our Triceratops today. It is a little bit of a more difficult fold than anything we've done so far. So I'll do my best to slow it down. Um, but remember that when you're watching the video that you can always pause it, you can stop it, you can rewind it and do whatever you need to, to make sure that you can follow along with all of the steps. All right, so let's get started. All right, so let's get started. To fold our Triceratops today, you are going to need two square sheets of paper, and then though not required, a ruler and a pencil. The ruler and the pencil is going to help us create some of the guidelines that is gonna be difficult to see, okay? So I'm gonna set those aside for now. First, we're gonna take our first sheet of paper and we're gonna fold all of our beginning guidelines. Those are the lines that are going to go diagonally, up and down, and left to right. So let's get that started. I'm going to fold it triangle way. It is. Unfold that. And then we'll fold it the long ways. Unfold that. Unfold it left to right. Now you have all of your guidelines. So our first fold is that we're going to take this bottom edge and we're going to fold it to the middle guideline. Okay. Next, we're going to take the left edge and we're also going to fold it to the middle guideline. Now, we are going to take our right edge and also fold it to the middle guideline. Okay. All right. Now, do you guys see these two diagonal lines right here? What we're gonna do is that we're gonna fold on that line just to reinforce it a little on both sides. Then I'm gonna make you unfold that. Okay, so now we're gonna use our push fold. We're gonna keep this side, the right side as flat as possible. And what we're gonna do is that we're going to open this flap up, tuck our finger inside like that, and then fold down. Again, to show you on the left side, you're gonna hold the left side down as much as possible. You're going to open this flap up like that. You're going to tuck your finger inside. And then you are all going to push down on that fold. Just like that. All right. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take this top tip. And we're going to fold it down to meet this middle part of this new little triangle you just, or rect, oh my gosh, new little square you just created. When you unfold that, you now have another guideline. So we're gonna, we're gonna use that guideline and we're gonna fold this top left edge right here to meet that middle guideline. I wanna unfold that and we're gonna do the same to the right. This little right section, we're gonna fold it down to meet that guideline. And once that's done, what we're gonna do is we almost fold down oops, on that line and we kind of pinch it together like that. But we'll just leave that there for now. All right, so now we're gonna focus on these two flaps. We're gonna take this middle edge right here and we're gonna fold it to this guideline, creating more guidelines, if you will. Okay. We're going to unfold that, take this longer flat edge of the flap, and fold it to that same line. And unfold that. And much like we did up here, 
We're gonna take that, we're gonna pinch, we're gonna fold down on those lines we just created. And see how this is like kind of curved? We're actually gonna pinch that cheek together and create a fold. And then it's kind of like this little flappy guy. Yeah. Now we're gonna do the same to the left side. We're gonna take this middle edge and we're gonna fold it to that line. Just like that. I'm gonna unfold that, take this long edge, fold it along the same line. And I'm gonna to try to hold this a little closer and show you guys. So we created this line right here and this line right here. What we're gonna do is that we're actually gonna almost push fold down in that line. See that curve? We pinch that edge together. Just like that. We've got our two little flappies. All right, now I'm gonna show you down here. Okay, what we're gonna do first is that we're gonna create some guidelines. So we're gonna take this corner right here and fold it to this corner right there. And it's gonna create a diagonal. It should be pretty easy because we already kind of have a guideline underneath from what we did when we first started our base. So again, I'm gonna take this corner. I wanna fold it right there. Okay, just have the guideline. Then we're gonna unfold it. All right. So here comes the kind of like weird, kind of complicated part. We, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fingers and we're gonna tuck it all the way inside to the very first flap we folded. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna tuck, pull on it. And, and then these flaps are gonna come out, oof, but we don't wanna lose it and then immediately fold back down. Okay, I'm gonna show you that one more time. Put it back to where it was before. Okay. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna kind of take these flaps to the side, just tuck our finger inside. We're going to grab that inside fold that we was our first fold and kind of pull it out, right? Until so these flaps kind of tuck into the oops, to the side and then push back till we get these little flaps. Okay. What we're gonna do is that we're actually gonna turn these flaps and fold them downward, like this. Okay. So you have this inside on the right flap. You're gonna fold this to meet this diagonal line that my finger is guiding right now. I'm gonna fold it to the line. And then your next step is to actually fold that line over. Okay. I want to show you that again on the left side. We have this inside, this um, the long side of this flap. I want to fold it to the diagonal line right here where my finger is. And then we're actually going to fold on that diagonal line over. Once you have that completed, turn your whole piece over. So here is when I'm gonna take my ruler and my pencil. And there is a line that you can't see that goes from this left edge all the way to the same corner on the right side. But I don't have a line there. So what I like to sometimes do is actually draw in my guideline. So I'm gonna align my ruler to those two corners here, left and right. I'm gonna draw my guideline. Next, as you guys can see, you're gonna take this bottom edge and you're gonna fold it to that guideline. Just fold it up, just like that. Once that's done, I'm gonna fold this whole thing in half. Now you got a little nose, and you got some ears. All right, so that's our front half of our Triceratops. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna set this aside and grab our second, oops, our second sheet of paper. First things first, Let's fold all of our guidelines. So we already have one going diagonally from when we created our square. When you fold it, going the opposite way. Okay. Once done, fold it up and down. Okay. 
and left and right. To start the top half, or not the top half, to start the back half of our triceratops, we actually need to look at our paper like a little diagonal diamond, okay? So, can everyone see this bottom corner? And then, can we all see this kind of like top left line right here? So, we need to pick a spot on this line where my finger keeps guiding. And this is the part that can get a little complicated because you actually need to eyeball a spot, as in pick a spot with your hair. So I like to go maybe about halfway between where my, my thumb and my index finger is, so right here. And then I'm gonna draw a dot. And what you're actually gonna do is that you're gonna fold a line from that dot all the way to this bottom corner. But like I said, that can be really, really hard. So. Again, I'd like to take my ruler and it's like connecting it. I'm gonna connect that dot to that bottom corner or vertex if you will. And I'm just gonna draw a simple line, just like that. And that's my guideline. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna take this right edge and I'm gonna fold it all the way to that line, like this. having a really hard time. Okay. And, and now we have this line that's already kind of created and we're gonna take this left, left edge and we're gonna fold it over here as well. And then because of the way symmetry works, if you do that, they should lie right on top of each other. All right. Now that you've got those folds added, we're gonna take this top little tip and we're gonna fold it right here to where my finger is. Now, we're actually gonna flip that tip, that flap over and fold it down the other way and open up these guys up. Do we see our middle guideline right here where my finger is guiding us? We're actually gonna fold our paper in half on that line. And we should have this little tip right here. So that tip becomes very important later on. All right, so here we have another eyeballing guideline we need to see. Again, it can be very hard, but basically what you want to look at is that you want to look at this intersection right here and to exactly where that important tip stops. And we're going to fold along that line. Again, that line is very hard to see and very hard to eyeball. So you can take your ruler and actually connect those two dots. And that's the line you're going to fold on. All right, do you see that pencil line? So, I'm actually gonna fold in that line. And then, because the paper is now getting a little bit thicker, I'm actually gonna fold it both ways to make sure that my crease is nice and firm. All right, so here we're gonna do kind of like a reverse tuck fold. So you created that crease right there. We're going to tuck my finger inside all the way to this very tip right here. And we're going to tuck it inside out. So it's right like that underneath. I'm gonna show you that again because that can be really confusing. I'm gonna tuck my finger all the way inside and my outside finger is actually going to push that crease down and you've now turned your fold out like inside out, okay? Now you've got this base. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this corner and we're gonna fold our piece in half to that line. So this corner is gonna meet this corner where my finger is. Just like this. 
Do you guys see where the corners are about to meet? All right, once again, I'm gonna also fold it the other way because my paper is getting a little bit thicker and I wanna make sure my crease is nice and firm. All right, now we're gonna use that push fold that we learned when making the frock. We're gonna take, we're gonna hold this up like that. We're gonna tuck our finger in right here. Tuck it on the outside. It's going to push down and it should be pretty easy because all of our guidelines were already there. I'll flip this over once again. Kind of take my finger, tuck it inside this opening right here. So you guys can see this opening. Push all the way to right here where my finger is. And then push it down. There we are. So now we kind of have this web, right? It can go back and forth. And we should have it on both sides. Right? All right. So before we get started, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this flap. We're just going to fold it back and just crease it nice and firmly. Okay. And so now the flap is going to be on the left. And you can see this guideline right here. We're going to take this, uh, this diagonal edge of the flap and fold it to that line. When that's done, we're actually just going to fold along that line. Fold it back. Now we'll flip it over and do the same thing to the right side. And I just want to fold this flap. Do you see this line right here? We're going to take this top edge and we're going to fold it to that line. And when we're done, like I said, we're just going to fold along that line. And now the back half of our Triceratops is done. So remember when I said that this little flip that's kind of like, you can kind of pull it out, is very important. This actually will clip our back Triceratops to its head. So inside our head, there's kind of like this little envelope, if you will. What happens is that this little jiggly piece will tuck inside that, like this. See how it's tucking? And now, you have our triceratops. And it's got a baby. All right guys, that's it for this week.